I think my internet's a little bit slow this morning, so I might wait for some people to jump on and give me some thumbs up so I know that you can hear me. I wanted to jump on this morning. It's been coming a lot, um, coming up a lot uh, with some of the clients that I'm talking to and working with as well about. It's a lesson that I learned really early. It's probably one of the most powerful lessons that I've ever learned in my life, and it applies to every aspect of my life. Morning, cat. Um, so. It's something that my mum actually taught me at a really young age and I apply it now to my friendships, my relationships, um, work and it, it helps me, morning CJ, morning ladies, it helps me come, become grounded, it helps me be focused, it helps me stay humble and it also helps me live each day authentically. So the biggest lesson I've ever learnt is not to place your expectations on other people and that might sound really simple but I'm going to talk a little bit about that now so you understand what I'm talking about because I know when I was really young so I'm not sure how many of you guys can relate give me love if you can relate to this but when I was younger I was always that friend that was always trying to catch up with all my friends I was always what are you doing this weekend or how are you like I felt like I was always making the effort and I'd, um, I get this yucky feeling, give me some love if anyone anyone has this, or even if you've got kids, I see so many parents um, experiencing this with the young kids and they realise their kids that their child's that one that's always trying to make all that effort. And I get this yucky feeling and they'd always be like, oh, they don't, they don't want to hang out with me, or how come they don't, they don't make the effort, or how come they don't reach out to come see me, or... Um, and it was something that was coming up a lot for me and I was really young and this is when I first got introduced to this lesson that my mum taught me and is that that's not to place our expectations on other people. So don't, just because I want to be a good friend, and it's not about being a good friend, just because my expectation on myself is to be a good friend, it's to make that effort, it's to um, reach out, it's to see how they're going. But that doesn't mean that I those expectations I place on myself, I then I then place them on somebody else. Because you get this yucky feeling and you start you start measuring yourself up and you start comparing and you're thinking, oh, they they don't they don't value this friendship as much as I do. Or they don't want to hang out with me or they don't enjoy they don't enjoy our time together as much as I do. So as I was getting older, it was funny because these lessons set these this lesson I guess kept coming up for me. And um, as I get older, it became about loyalty. So it came about, um, I'm one of those friends, if you need something, I will be there. If I say I'm going to do something, I will do it. I will promise you, I will do everything in my power. I'm a lady of my word. Um, and I would be a loyal friend. If somebody did something or said something about somebody else, I would be one of those people that would stand up for them because loyalty is something that's really, really important to me. And then, but the same thing happened. I get this icky feeling when other people wouldn't do for, other people wouldn't do the same for me as I would do for them. And it's something that my mum had to remind me and said, remember, they're your expectations that you place on yourself. You don't do that in regards to expect that back. You don't do that to expect that back from other people. So, um, and it's funny because as you start learning this and you start understanding it, you see it come up a lot in your life. So even now, um, it's talking about as you get older and it's about giving and you understand how the universe works. You learn that you don't give to receive. It's not about tip for tap. So you don't, you don't be, how do I put this in the right way? You don't, you don't be a good friend because you're expecting them to do that back for you. You don't give an expectation that's going to come back to you. You give because you want to give because you want to be a good person. So those expectations that you have, you don't place them on other people. You, those expectations you have, you place them on yourself. And the reason you do this is the reason that you go above and beyond and you might have these expectations is because they're your values. They're things that are important to you. So the reason that you do this is to make sure that you're living in line with your values. So just because, and I guess the flip side of this is it doesn't mean you stop being a good friend. It doesn't mean you stop going above and beyond to help other people because you do that because you want to be proud of yourself. So it's about living in line with your values and doing things because you want to be that kind of person. You want to be that friend and that's something that's important to you. And so I guess a little lesson came up for me even last week when um, there's been a person in my life who I go above and beyond for. I love them. I want to do everything in my power to be there for them. Um, and it's funny because when I've needed them, they haven't been there. 
they haven't been there. And it came, a, a thing came up for me a couple of weeks ago. There was an opportunity for me to be there for them. And it's really easy for us to catch ourselves being, no, they, don't, they wouldn't do that for me or they wouldn't be there for me or they, they've never done that for me. But it's about realizing who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? You do what you do, not because it's what others would do for you. It's because what you want to do for yourself. So I realized, I thought about the kind of person I want to be and loyalty is something that's really high in my priority list. Um, being a good friend and I think about what would I want to happen to me. Doesn't mean they're necessarily going to do that for me, but who? what kind of person do I want to be? How do I want to show up in the world? What kind of friend do I want to be to my friends? So when something's coming up for you and it's funny because expectations, when you have expectations, that's when you, you give yourself the opportunity to be let down or disappointed. And that's when you get that icky feeling. So just remember, if things are coming up for you, whether it's in romantic relationships, whether it's in your friendships, whether it's in the workplace, and they're, you're getting frustrated because they're not doing things to your standard or they're not returning you or treating you the way that you treat them, remember, don't place your expectations on other people. You live up to your expectations. You live up to your values. And you do that because that's what you need to do to be proud of yourself and to wake up with intention and integrity and being in, a, in a line with your values. So I'm not sure how many people you heard of this um, poem by Mother Teresa. And it's something I live by and I really wanted to share it with you because I think it really, it really encapsulates the message that I'm trying to say. I'm not sure if I've actually said it very well this morning. Um, but talking about the fact that you give your best anyway. You be the best version of you, and sometimes it's not going to be enough for people, but you still do it. You go above and beyond, and you love on people, and you be a good friend, and you be loyal, even if they're not there for you. You don't do it in regards to get something in return. You do it because that's the kind of person you want to be. So you make sure you're living in line with your values and the expectations that you're putting on others. You take back, and you just expect that from yourself. So I'm going to share it with you for your morning. So people are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish or ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and sincere, people may deceive you. Be honest and sincere anyway. What you spend years creating, others could destroy overnight. Create anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, some may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten, but do good anyway. And give the best you have, and it may never be enough, but you give your best anyway. So my lesson, from my biggest lesson, it's something that I apply every single day, is give my best anyway. Don't place my expectations on other people. And when you feel that icky feeling and you feel yourself getting disappointed, pull yourself up on it. Because if you've got that feeling come up for you, it means that you are placing expectations on somebody else. And... You're, you're putting uh, not only expectations, but you're putting a message on what you think that means. Um, you've got to remember everybody thinks differently. Everyone regulates emotions differently. Everyone shows emotions differently. Everybody has different values. So make sure you're living in line with yours. So I hope you're having a beautiful Thursday and I will see you next week.